Rotation tie uh, is a very, very essential part of the ligation because we need many times to expand, to extend the distance between the brackets, which normally in lingua orthodontics the interbracket space is very, very small, sometimes tend to be almost zero. And when we need to get um, rotation done, we need the moment to be big. Since we don't want to exaggerate or, or to uh, 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 put the force higher, we want to make the distance longer in order to make a mo moment to do the rotation. So let's see a few techniques how to do the rotation tie in order to facilitate rotation movements. Now I want to show you uh, the rotation tie which is probably uh, the most commonly used ligation in lingua orthodontics. As you can see here in a true case, I ligated all the teeth now to the wire, except this uh, central incisor. This central incisor is rotated around 30 degrees, and although the brackets are very small, the joy brackets are very small, and the interbracket distance here is quite um, uh, large, still it is very very difficult to get a moment which will derotate the tooth nicely. Therefore uh, we use a technique which is called rotation tie in which we can elongate the distance and therefore get a much longer um, a much bigger moment. What we do, we take the mosquito, I put inside the first part of the chain, then I take the chain under the wire, then I take the chain under the wire, you can use the help of Explorer, to take the wire a little out and then take the chain under the wire okay then we open the mosquito and get the other side of the chain and then we pull it together so look what is uh, what we get now we get now uh, a power chain which is connected to the wire and now we can pass in the contact point around the tooth going under the next contact point and then connect it to the bracket. So now you can see how the rotation tie is working. There is one part connected to the wire. From the wire it passes around the tooth. Of course uh, in lingual we will use um, transparent power chain. And then from here we go to the bracket. So all this long chain apply a force to do the rotation. This is usually uh, done in uh, no more than a few weeks. Then after the tooth is rotated, we can move to rectangular wire and hold the rotated tooth in its place. You can see more options for uh, rotations, um, um, uh, solutions in lingualnews.com. That's website lingualnews.com. Uh, this website is free, of course. Uh, you can view uh, a lot of articles, a lot of um, uh, movies, uh, a lot of uh, congresses about Lingual. 
uh, and you can see in this illustration uh, many options to do rotations uh, and elongate the distance between the tooth that we want to rotate and the anchor unit uh, which we want just to serve as anchorage for this rotation movement. Uh, you can view each one of the slides has a different um, option and if you want to uh, see it more closely I recommend you to go to the website to lingualnews.com. <music>